You know, I've spent a lot of time advocating for Title IX, so I've taken a deeper dive into, you know, some of the policy behind it and some of the wonkiness behind it, which I like. But, um, you know, you look at it passed in 72 in the state of women's sports, if you're just talking about the sports component of it, uh, it, it one in 27 girls playing in 1972, one in 27, and now today it's one in 2.5. I mean, so that alone, just the access to opportunity is tremendous. It has been um, a wonderful, wonderful part of Title IX. I call it one of the most profound civil rights laws I think you know, this country has passed. Yet the saddening part for me, looking at it 40 years later, is there's so few kids who know what Title IX is. You know, when, and it's not just, just boys, it's girls, young girls. And, and if they do know what Title IX is, it's often has a negative perception around it because uh, it's being blamed um, on men's sports being cut at the collegiate level, men's sports being cut at the high school level. And, and so that saddens me because I think um, we need to educate uh, the youth today uh, better about you know, what an impact it's had because it has had a tremendous impact. I feel like sports are this great gift, you know, in, in, in that so much of what I learned from playing on a team and dealing with setbacks and adversity and loss and coming together behind, you know, one common goal and purpose has really shaped who I am and how I go about and approach life as a mom, as, you know, now someone who works in the television industry, as someone who, um, you know, runs a small business with our, our leadership academy. So it's just every day I call on it and it's amazing to me. And so I, and I think sometimes we forget that. We talk about the wins and losses and we talk about how many goals did you score, how many points or whatever your sport is, you know, and yet I have always felt the value of sports is that, you know, you leave that person, I think a better human being overall, just a much more balanced individual who understands how to deal in high pressure pressure situations in a really meaningful way. Uh, I love spending time with Division One athletes and especially Ivy League Division One athletes because they get it. They get that here's this great opportunity of four years of this fabulous education, you know, and I have this wonderful opportunity to play Division One athletics as well.